Hey guys, today we're checking out two more episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation Season 2. Yes. The Enterprise is bound for Star Station India, rendezvous with a Starfleet medical courier. Ooh. We've been told only that our presence is imperative. Imperative? And will give me further opportunities to assess the performance of our new chief medical officer. Come! Pulaski, he means? You wanted to see me, Captain. Yes. I wonder what he's reading. How would you evaluate her as a chief medical officer? I've never met a more dedicated physician. I entirely agree. Is he unsure about her? Is it possible that such consuming dedication could interfere with her judgment? How so? I feel your concern, Captain, but I don't share. Perhaps because I've had the opportunity to spend more time with her. That's fair. USS Landry, this is Picard of the Enterprise. What is the nature of your emergency? I told out and oh. I'm dying. Dying? Are you under attack? This music doesn't sound good. Lantry? Space. And new civilizations. <laughs> to boldly go where no one has gone before. <laughs> Come in, Lantry. I'm dying to help. Normal complement 26 officers and crew. Just in course to intercept. Warp 7, sir. There's Jordy. I love Jordy. Establish parallel course, match speed. Yes, sir. Hailing frequencies? Open. Lantry, this is the Enterprise. Are they dead? Nothing, Captain. What else have we got in the neighborhood? No other vessels of any kind within two parsecs. No battle damage. No battle damage? If we gain control of our systems remotely, we could activate the view screen. That way, at least we could look at the bridge. Okay, yeah, do that. Agreed. Agreed, number one. I love that he calls him number one so much. Omicron, Omicron, Alpha, Yellow, Daystar, 27, NA. Wow, cool. Omicron, Omicron. I need to learn a cool code. Landry Bridge Monitor. Let's Get see. Good. Hope there's not like bodies everywhere. <gasps> and there's bodies everywhere. You reading anything, Doctor? There's still no signs of life, Captain. Ah, oh, they're dead. That must be Captain Talaka on the left. Let's look at him. <gasps> Closer. How long have they been there like that? They died of natural causes. What? Natural causes? What in nature could cause that? No. For the record, Captain, they died of old age. No. It, well, all of them? Unnatural selection. There are only six of us left. We've set course for the nearest Federation outpost. Last few hours, I've watched friends grow old and die. They're just aging rapidly? Captain Talaka was my age, sir. Oh my god. Every member of the Lantry crew had a complete examination at the beginning of his duty cycle eight weeks ago. Eight weeks? The Lusian flu. That's an exotic but harmless rhinal virus. It couldn't have caused it. Well, maybe it did. Port of call for the land tree was the Darwin Genetic Research Station. <gasps> the Garen 4, three days ago. Well, there it is. We may have to consider a quarantine. Initiate the quarantine transmitters on the land tree and activate our marker beacons. We'll need to find her again. Hi, sir. This is extremely odd. The genetics lab, though, that sounds about uh, suspicious. Do not board. Set course for Gagarin 4, warp 7. Warp 7. Punch it. Course and speed sensor. Extreme caution. Engage. Landry is a Engage. Landry tragedy and a genetic research facility fills me with profound apprehension. Yeah, I don't think they should get too close. Profound apprehension. Agreed. Enterprise, this is Darwin Station. I'm Dr. Kingsley. We've just declared a medical emergency. Uh-oh. I'm Dr. Pulaski, Chief Medical Officer. Author of Linear Models of Viral Propagation? That was a long time ago. Can't think of anyone I'd rather be dealing with. She's well respected. Dr. Pulaski, I celebrated my 35th birthday a week ago. <gasps> she looks way older than that. Oh, crap. I can assure you we're not dealing with something that got away from us. I don't know. I don't know. We were infected by a supply ship that was here three days ago. We, we encountered it a few hours ago. So they each think the other one infected them. But my immediate concern is our children. Children? They represent years of advanced genetic research. You must evacuate them as soon as possible. We can't bring them aboard. They've shown no symptoms. You cannot I leave them know. here to die. Doctor, our options in a quarantine situation are extremely limited. I'm with Picard, always. I would like to bring one of them aboard within a force field for a complete examination. Reasonable. Counselor, mm -hmm. do you sense anything? Dr. Kingsley sincerely believes the children are not a threat. But she's not telling us the whole truth. See, I don't like that. She got, she's got to spill it. But we don't know what we're looking for. Exactly. And we won't 
until we start gathering data. She's a scientist above all, I think. Proceed with the examination, but I shall require positive proof. Worf doesn't like these it. These children are harmless for I place any of my crew in jeopardy. Reasonable as well. Everyone is reasonable and I like it. Whoa, cool. Transporter. This is Chief O'Brien, sir. Almost ready. Is there a problem? It's the styrolite. I'm altering the delta T so the styrolite coating materializes two microseconds ahead of the child. I'll take all the time you need. Yeah, no room for error. We have one 12 year old male encased in number six styrolite. Transporter, energize. The car looks a little worried, though. A trick! Transporter reverse! One moment, Lieutenant, whoever he is, he's still in stasis. What, because it's, it's an adult? Is it a kid or an adult? <laughs> but they said he was 12. But that he didn't, he, they weren't infected, so he wouldn't have aged, right? The child is unquestionably telepathic. The child, oh. this mature, we could be looking at the future of humanity. Hmm. Hmm. At least Dr. Kingsley's vision of it. I see. Yeah, she did say they were genetic experiments or... Bum -bum, commercial break. A fully grown 12-year-old. Yeah, she said they were the product of genetic research or something like that. So, I see. Well, then it absolutely is them if, if this is a 12-year-old aged up. His immune system is so advanced, it may not be possible for him to contract disease. Oh, wow. I, I want to free him from the styrolite. No. That seems rather risky, Doctor. I agree. Surprise until I know where this disease came from and how it is transmitted. I Reasonable. that, Captain. Force fields can fail. And until... We don't have that kind of time. He's a human being who needs our help. But the risk is... Minimal. She's very confident. I'll do everything in my power to assist. God knows I'm not one to discourage him, but, but I would appreciate it if you'd let me finish my sentences once in a while. Uh, I had a boy. I was thinking, though, that she's pretty sassy for cutting him off all the time. You don't cut off Picard. You're captain. You let him finish and you say, sir. He has such a consuming dedication to his ship. Let's just say you both have well-established personalities. Mm -hmm. Two strong personalities. Yeah, maybe they're more alike than, than different. And both very capable and smart, good leaders. Starfleet guidelines about contact with quarantine vessels. You best. don't have to quote the rule book. Captain, you said if I proved. Does he respect her a little for risking herself for the science? I took advanced training in the operation of auxiliary space vessels at Starfleet Academy, where I received- A more than passing grade, no doubt. Please, come aboard. We don't have much time. I suppose, can Data be affected? Probably not. All right, Pulaski and Data going on a road trip. Cool, we don't do much of this. Good luck, Doctor. Does he have confidence in her? It's the only way to prove they're harmless. And if they're not? I hate to keep reminding you, but you are a machine. You'll be perfectly safe. I think he meant her. But I was referring to you. Mm-hmm. Ready to transport. Shuttlecraft, maintain your position and stand by. Is something gonna go wrong? All right, it worked. Is he gonna have, like, the mind and temperament of a 12-year-old? Oh, yes. I do. I understand you perfectly. Oh, he's got telepathy, right. How could you, Doctor? He has not said anything. He's telepathic. I always wanted to be telepathic ever since I read the chrysalids when I was a kid. These are functioning within normal specifications, Doctor. The manufacturer will be pleased to hear it. <gasps> Doctor? Dude! <laughs> Commercial back. Well, crap! Doctor, I don't understand. What has happened? Arthritic inflammation. Oh, no. What can we do? Return the boy to Darwin Station. Apparently the children are carriers. Oh, geez. Is she just going to die off this show now? Shuttle one, hold your position. Holding. <sighs> Stand by to transport. It wasn't your fault. Well, but it was that other doctor's fault, possibly. Pain is tolerable, thank you. Shall I set course for Darwin Station? We're already under quarantine. What do we have to lose? Yeah, maybe if she goes there, she can figure it out. Dr. Pulaski's condition is inseparably linked with that emergency. That of Commander Data must take priority. Agreed. Commander Data is most likely immune. Yeah, but couldn't we adjust the biofilter? We could alter the filter to screen out whatever it is causing the disease. Guys, I really don't think we should risk it. We might try the trace. Transporter tray. Well, as you know, the transporter keeps a record of all transmissions, a, a pattern, if you will. Usually mm. it's just stored for security. So whatever she beamed over with and beams back. Trace to control the reconstitution process. What's new? I don't think it's ever been tried quite that way before. Theoretically, it is possible. Hmm. I like it. I like it. Where will we get the trace pattern? Doctors never used our transporter. Never. She hasn't? Oh, she's a woman of very strongly held opinions. Oh, facts. Bridge, Picard. 
Contact the USS Repulse using subspace captain's priority channel. I mean, he's worried about her. All right, what does this other doctor have to say for herself? She has to know that it's the kids. I still can't believe you were infected by one of our children. The evidence is barely Is she conclusive. still lying? You don't understand. They were designed to resist disease. Let me show you something. Our ultimate achievement. All our telekinetic. Watch. Whoa, that's cool. The lantry logs indicated that only one crewman had any illness prior to arrival here. Flu. Mild case of Thalusian flu. I want an analysis of the interaction between the Thalusian flu and the children. Genetic analysis could take months. Can you do it quickly? Not necessarily. Commander Data has a way with computers. He's good. Tell me, Taggart, if she served you as well as you say, why'd, why'd you, let, you her let her go? About an opening on the Enterprise, she put in a request for transfer. New Year service record backward and forward. She likes Picard. She looks bad. The answer, I believe, Doctor. The antibody created an unexpected side effect. It alters the genetic makeup. These are the two molecules that have been transposed. Replicating process is irreversible. Is she gonna die? Have you made any progress, Doctor? I'm afraid so. They are the cause. She looks bad. And why did it attack you more quickly than Dr. Kingsley? The closed environment of the shuttlecraft concentrated my exposure. Right, what's the next step? The children will survive, but the rest of us are just about out of time. Can they save her? Doctor, I want you back aboard this ship. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I got into this by leaping before I looked, and I won't allow you to make the same mistake. No, she should listen to him. The children will be condemned to live out their lives in isolation. Quarantine of the Darwin Station must be maintained forever. Crazy. No, she can't die. You did everything you could, Commander. So old. As androids go, you're in a class by yourself. Mm-hmm. Doctor. Please, give my best to the captain. She looks bad. They have to save her. Enterprise. Don't, Commander Data. Don't be mad here. Ready to beam aboard. No, 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 no. Are they about to kill her off? I'm going to lose it if they kill her off. Kate knew what she was doing. I wish I could be certain that we'd tried everything. Yeah, this feels like... Commander Data is ready to come aboard, sir. You have the bridge, number one. Does he have an idea? Is he having trouble coming back? You may step down, sir. Data, tell me. If the... It's good to see you again. Thank you. <laughs> He's so sweet. Would it be possible... It is not reversible, sir. If it were undone, would she be normal again? As normal as ever, sir. How could he undo it? What if we used a sample of her DNA from a blood test taken before she was exposed to the disease? Out the regeneration limiter in the first stage circuit. He said so much stuff. However, theoretically... Data. Yes, sir. Can you do the modifications? <laughs> Oh, I think so, sir. Then make it so. Make it so. You heard what he said. Let's get those panels off. He's giving off Scotty vibes down there. Anything that would have a sample of Dr. Pulaski's original DNA? No, sir. Let's check her quarters. With like a skin cell work? <laughs> We're running out of time. That's what the music's telling me. A hair hairbrush. It has a follicle, sir. Live cells. This'll do. Now it's station. This is the Enterprise. Go ahead, Captain. I'm here. We have a sample of your normal DNA to use as a filter in the transporter. This is risky. If, if it works, we could use the same technique to save Dr. Kingsley and her colleagues. I think you should know this has never been attempted before. Yeah, this is risky. I'll have a much better understanding of geriatrics. All right, all right. Make it so, fellas. Chief. Almost ready, sir. Got our science boys on it. I'll be monitoring the medical scans, but you'll be able to tell if it's worked by watching the stack. Dr. Pulaski, are you ready? I suppose I am, Captain. This better work. Engage. Filter, filter, filter. It's not working. Will she come back young or... Are they about to kill her off? Okay, all right. Woohoo! A hug! Doctor, good to see you, Doctor. Welcome back, Doctor. And spread my atoms across the galaxy. Every time I get into the damn thing, I'm convinced that's what's going to happen. <laughs> she doesn't like uh, the transporter beam, huh? Saved her life, though, this time. But all achievement has a price. For one brief glimpse at the mysterious blueprint of human evolution, the men and women of the USS Landry paid with their lives. Their sacrifice is thus noted in this scientist's log. Are they gonna blow up that other? Lieutenant Worf, arm the photon torpedo. They are gonna blow it up. Well, I guess the they have to. The bridge is ready, Commander. 
so they don't infect anyone. Extreme caution, the USS Landry is a quarantined vessel by order of Starfleet Command. They're gonna blow it? They're gonna blow it! Oh boy. Well, that was cool though. Set course and speed for Star Station India. Course and speed set, sir. Engage. That's not really their style to blow stuff up. A little bit of a somber ending there. Okay guys, that was season two, episode seven. And I like that one because I did get a chance to more fully appreciate Dr. Pulaski. They're really giving her a lot. She's not perfect and I like that because actually most of the characters on the show don't have a lot of faults. She clashes so much with everyone else but that's kind of what i'm starting to like about her because there isn't a ton of like interpersonal drama on this show and there probably needs to be in order for it to go on for seven seasons i imagine they're gonna have to get into more interpersonal drama i can appreciate a character like pulaski strong character very competent very opinionated you know passionate super smart like well respected in her field but at the same time she also has some flaws she's not necessarily getting along with picard it makes for an interesting character though she's not infallible. She's flawed, but I think that's going to work in her favor. This was her episode, really. And in the end, her and Picard kind of came together. He hugged her. I mean, there was a respect there. And she also was a bit humbled because she was wrong. I get it now. She's interesting. I am looking forward to the next episode, episode eight, called A Matter of Honor. Let's get right into it. Here we go. Season two, episode eight. Captain's log, maybe. No captain's log. Captain, this is the bridge. We've number arrived one. at Starbase 179. Acknowledge number one. Mark 345, 27,000 kilometers. Where's the cap? Enterprise, this is Starbase 179. We're ready for transfer on your mark. Thank you. Commander Data, you have the bridge. Ensign Crusher, you're with me. Let's do it. I don't know what we're doing, but I'm in. I'm into it. Go, number one. I wonder if we're going to get a number one episode soon. It's been a while. He's just been kind of hanging out in the background. Welcome aboard the Enterprise. I'm Commander William Riker, your first officer. Those of you who are here as replacements, step outside and follow Lieutenant Lewis. He will assign you to your crew quarters. Hey, is that the guy from Starfleet? Mordok, what are you doing? You couldn't have graduated yeah. the academy already. I'm Mendon. Oh. Ensign Mendon from the planet Benzar. Looks just like him. There will be a briefing and indoctrination session in 15 minutes. Indoctrination session. I want to tell you how happy I am to be assigned to the Enterprise. I know I can be of great help to the ship. Yeah. What, do you find some cheeky? What is this? Certainly seems eager to please. Oh, that's a Benzai trait. Oh my god, they're just playing video games. Well, there is a Klingon vessel in the area. Are they gonna send war? I don't recall hearing of a Federation officer ever serving on a Klingon vessel. Oh, no, neither have I. Who did you intend to send, sir? Yeah, it's war for him. Asking for a volunteer. I might be interested, sir. Damn. Sorry, number one, what was that? <laughs> I said I wouldn't mind the assignment, sir. Any particular reason? Because nobody's ever done it before. Yeah. Send Riker, let's go. Riker episode. Space. The final frontier. Uh -huh. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Nice. That one of the duties of the first officer of the Klingon vessel is to assassinate his captain? Yes, sir. Retirement should be assisted by his first. Your second officer will assassinate you for the same reasons. Oh my god. The Klingon system has operated successfully for centuries. It is different. Uh, yeah, I'll say. Many things will be different. Yeah, this will be, this will be something. I don't know that much about the Klingons. I'm excited! Now oh, that's a close-up. That's a wonderful method of maintaining a constant, but I'm sure there's a way to improve response time. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you. Is he just going to annoy everyone? However, I am correct in what I said. You could be better. This guy. A minor change of the helm readout would be much more helpful. It would be more than a marginal improvement. I'll have to mention it's a little arrogant. Captain. He is open to some astute observations, isn't he? He's not there to learn, that's for sure. Ew. It's a Klingon delicacy. Hippius claw. This is heart of Targ. Heart of Targ. Well, oh. I'm familiar with the practice of the feast before the transfer. I, however, I usually made more palatable choices. These are the more palatable choices. Yikes. Don't drink that. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Ew. I mean, he's doing well. He's just like, whatever, down the hatch. 
An emergency transponder? Do you suspect trouble? Simply a security precaution. I want to huh. ensure your return to this ship. It's worried about him. War. I understand. Thank you. Kind of look like a... I mean, it's pocket-sized or a probe of some kind. I'm Captain Picard of the USS Enterprise. It will take on number one. This is Captain Cargo. Beam your first officer on board immediately. You're getting a fine officer. Judge that for myself. Screen off. A little cold. I think Riker's gonna find it's not such a friendly captain. Very hospitable, are they? That is not your concern. <laughs> Observe your station, Ensign Mendon. Actually, though. I didn't mean to offend you. You didn't. At least he didn't growl at him. Bacterial colony? Is it dangerous to Riker? Life form analysis inconclusive? Huh? Is this something to worry about? Oh, ready, sir. Thanks. All right, Riker's Energize. not afraid. Energize. This seems risky. Might just take him as a hostage. I am Ensign Menda. I pick things up very fast. Yes, of course you do. We use the chain of command. I beg your pardon, Captain. I just wanted to impress upon no you. No need to I... apologize, Ensign. Put him in his place. Don't bother me. You may impress me. Now if he finds something, he's not going to tell anybody. All right. Riker, charm them with your beard. Now what were your orders? To escort you to the captain. Proceed. Yes, Commander. Are they going to give him a Klingon uniform to wear? The big cheese. First officer of the Klingon cruiser of Pa. Exactly where are your loyalties? Although we are on a peaceful mission, we are ready to go into battle instantly. That won't be necessary. Where are your loyalties? Oh, he has to say them. I've been assigned to serve this ship and to obey your orders, and I will do exactly that. If we go. Is he safe over here? Then I take it you challenge my authority over you. Correct. And your position on this, Captain? It is your first command decision. Oh! Well, they'll respect that, right? Warriors. That's a good move. <laughs> that was the right move. That's the only way to get their respect, I think. Your only concern is with how you obey my orders. Nice. Or do you prefer the rank of prisoner to that of lieutenant? I will take your orders. Yeah, you will. And you, Commander Riker. You're all right. My orders. Of course, Captain Cargo. Nice, nice. <sighs> that was good, buddy. Yeah, nailed it. Fought him immediately. Automatic scan has registered an unknown substance on the app border of the exterior skin of the dorsal section. Target that location and define. Aye, sir. Is that the same thing the other guy saw? The bacterial thing? Focus on area. Zoom in. Magnification factor 10, form of subatomic bacteria. Huh? I noticed it when I did an intensive scan of the park. And you said nothing? It is a benzite regulation. No officer on the deck of one of our ships would report an occurrence like this until he had a full analysis and a resolution. He's not been indoctrinated properly. It is our procedure, Ensign, to notify command any possible danger to the ship. The decision is not yours. Do you understand? Yes, sir. That guy behind him's like, mm. We may have encountered a new life form. I want to know everything about it as quickly as possible. Commander Data, supervise. Aye, sir. Closely. And then I will instruct you in Enterprise etiquette. With a fist. Ba -da -da. Commercial break. Just eating in the Klingon cafeteria. That's so cool. Is he gonna make friends with them? Uh, oh my god, is he gonna hook up with the Klingon lady? Pippius claw was excellent. I also enjoyed this breguet lung. And the roe keg blood pie. Delicious. He's just killing it over there. If Klingon food is too strong for you. Perhaps we could get one of the females to breastfeed you. <laughs> Sick burn. Mm, he is not very attractive, but I will have him. Oh, really? They are inquisitive. They would like to know how you would endure. Endure what? Them. The mating ritual? Oh, oh my God. One or both? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's just killing it over there. <laughs> I may be back for you. <laughs> I hope he does hook up with one of these Klingon ladies. I feel like it'd be very rough. Like you, I have a mother and a father. They look like me. I look like them. 
Are they still alive? My mother lives, and my father was killed in battle at Tarnum South. The highest honor for a Klingon, I would think. My father was captured in battle by Romulan, not allowed to die. He is on our planet. He waits. He will eventually fade of a natural illness. And not an honorable death for a Klingon. Klingons do not express feeling the way you do. This is Perhaps true. You should. Maybe Riker can teach them. Yesterday, I did not know how to eat gah. Here we are. Things can be taught. According to the rate of reproduction, there should be a 12 centimeter opening in the Klingon hull at this time. Signal them at once. They could An be unaware of their hull? danger. They may need our help. Aye, sir. They've just got a hole in their hull and they don't even know it. Tell me, Commander Riker, what do you make of this? Okay, they do know it. A space organism in the way at our hall. What are you talking about? What is it? I mean, in less than eight hours, we will have lost too much of our shell to remain intact. Are they going to blame it? The Enterprise did conduct an extensive scan of it. That's normal procedure. They're not blaming what the Enterprise. The Enterprise used to cause this damage. And then why would they send him over? The Enterprise has no reason to do that, especially with me on board. It makes no yeah, sense. Yeah, it makes why? no sense. What is important is our response to this attack. Change course to intercept the Enterprise. Are you joking? I had an opportunity to show the captain my superior capabilities, and I failed. I can never recover from that. Wrong. Picard is reasonable. We were trying to analyze it, and messed up my protocol. See, Wes is nice. He's a nice kid. I imagine my methods must seem foolish to you. But that's what this exchange program is all about. You learn the way we do things, and take that information back to your command. It's up to them to decide which is better. I'll do it your way, and I'll succeed brilliantly. I see Wesley smooth that over. Oh, it's getting bigger. What is the status? Unchanged. The rate of increase continues. Commander Riker, check the organism growth with engineering. They're going to trust him to do something when they just said they're going to go attack the Enterprise? Keep him under scrutiny. Captain, I'm not convinced Riker knew of any plot against us. Yes. Mm. Why would he have come on board? Right? Riker's people do not volunteer for death so easily. He may be a spy, but he's no coward. Correct. No coward. The Enterprise is on an intercept course with us. Why? Ask them. Reason is obvious. Be reasonable. Put the ship on full battle alert. Arm no! All photon torpedoes. Damn, <laughs> All right, Riker's got to get out of there. Alien frequencies are open. There is no response. The pox is either cloaked or destroyed, sir. Conduct an intensive scan of the area. Oh, yeah, they're cloaked. I am still captain of this vessel. You are still crew and sworn to a baby. Gave me your oath. Tell me of the surest meth attack against the Enterprise. No, don't do that. I won't. Yeah, no, okay. Must. All right, good. I will die with this crew. Wow. But I will not break my oath of loyalty to Starfleet. Frank are such a good dude. Told those secrets about the Enterprise. I would have killed you where you stood. Respect. You will die like a Klingon. Wow. Riker is playing this just right. Sir, they are a submicron form capable of breaking nuclear bonds in the Tritanium plating. But can they be removed from the hull? Yes. Maybe this guy can figure it out. They now include a promise of cleaning the organisms and helping in repairs. See? I told you they're here to help. Is he gonna buy it though? Arm all weapons, prepare to attack. Are you serious? Commercial break again. It is reasonable to assume that the Klingon vest in the area and cloaked. Correct, Data. My man. And since we do not know its intent, I recommend we go to Red Alert. Shield up. So, Lieutenant. Aye, sir. Make it so. I recommend you don't fire until you're within 40,000 kilometers. Why? It will cut down their response time. You are honoring your promise to serve us? Would you do less? You will give the order to fire. No, please don't. He's testing him. Your reason for forcing this confrontation is not valid. Tell are him. you finished? Commence with attack as ordered. 55,000 kilometers in closing. <gasps> oh, right. Is that a weapon, Commander? No, sir. Give it to me. If you say so. We have to know what's going on. Commander Riker is the only one who can tell us. Beam him directly here onto the bridge. But he gave it to the Klingon. Prepare to drop cloaking shields and fire when ready. Steady. He's gonna beam on that Klingon guy. Oh, shoot. Oh, where you are, Clack. I relieved Captain Cargon. He was acting in an irrational manner. Oh, yeah, no, he's in charge. I'm your captain now. Mm hmm. Nicely played, man. Because if he just beat back on, then they'd, then they'd fire on them. Right, that has no honor. He tricked me! For face! 
raised him. Where's Commander Riker? In the captain's chair. Cloaking shields off. <laughs> Will be destroyed. No, you will not. Guard will be in battle, and I will die with you. So I repeat, cloaking shields off. I can't believe he's just in charge of the ship. You really outsmarted them. Enterprise, <laughs> Captain William Riker of the Klingon vessel Pa. Nice. I order you to lower your shields and surrender. Lower shields. Look at him. Surrender as ordered. Little little smirk. Captain Riker, we can carry out your repairs immediately. Thank you, Captain Picard. Handled it. That was great. You should have killed me. I don't know what your command, but you tricked me to get it. Either way, you can have it back. Outsmarted him to get it. <laughs> Grunted at him. Get him off my ship. Yes, Captain. You understand the Klingons better than I thought. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, those guys are buddies. That went about as well as it could have, I think. Back home where he belongs. With a shiner. Well done. Welcome aboard, number one. Conduct the commander to sink me. Aye, sir. Your little toy worked, thanks. I'm glad it did. You come from very brave and unique people. I'm glad you're with us on the Enterprise. Aw, buddies. <laughs> okay, guys, that was season two, episode eight, and that was a great episode. I really liked that one. I've been asking for a Riker episode, and we got one, and it was good man there was some really good stuff in this episode Riker in the Klingon cafeteria was just so good that that's exactly what I wanted to see they had that freaking joke about him needing to breastfeed because he's such a wimp like come on <laughs> that's great that's great stuff I really liked how they showed Riker in this even before he got on there he was in 10 forward trying all the food and like I just feel like he's really open-minded he wants to learn he wants to immerse himself in other alien cultures I feel a lot of respect for how much he wants to get out there and learn about other aliens. I really like that about him. He's not afraid, he's brave. He just went for it and when he goes for it, he goes all in. I really liked it and I mean we got to say the whole thing where he outsmarted the Klingon captain in the end and then and then demands Picard surrender. Like get out of here. That's amazing. That's amazing. That whole turn of events was just it was so good. I really really enjoyed this episode. I feel like we learned a lot about the Klingons and Riker did have like a little friendship going with the one Klingon and then in the end I think it helped strengthen his friendship with Worf as well so this one like I, I enjoyed so much this was really good we'll check out two more episodes next week which I'm also very excited about because one of them is an episode that everybody's telling me I'm gonna love so very excited about that one thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it I had a great time I hope you had a great time too and I will see you next time bye guys